And the first play from scrimmage is a play action pass. Starkle throws it down the middle of the field, and it's complete to Osmond. Throw 15 yards on first down as we look at Nick Starkle. 6'3", 215 pounds out of Argyle, Texas. You're talking about an attitude already. You see the first play of the game, they go to the air. That's what Starkle presents. And try again. Stayed clean in the pocket. Gets it deep downfield to Christian Kirk. He slips away. How about that? Touchdown. Two plays, 75 yards to pay dirt. And Nick Starkle has brought life. Back to the passing game here in College Station. Running the controls of the offense. Daniel LaCamera on for the extra point, and he missed it. For tonight, see if he can kickstart this offense. Already has his degree working on his masters. Ramel Jordan trying to bounce it to the outside in this triple option. I'm going to throw it. Receiver screen caught by Chris Davis. Texas A&M pretty much ready for it. A gain of two. It's going to bring up third down and long. Aaron Owens is in the backfield with Jordan. Penalty flag. And Jordan stopped at the 30-yard line. Official tonight. There is no foul for a pers personal foul for hands to the face. It will be fourth down. How about that? We're off to a good start. <laughs> Let's pick up those. Second series. For Texas A&M offensively, good start on the opening series. Two plays and a touchdown. This is their first run of the... Holding, number 75, <laughs> offense. 10-yard penalty, replay first down. Martin just held on a little too long. Go back to the air again, and Starkle's going to air it out one more time. Wide open was Damian Ratley, but... Mr. Kirk, and that time just overthrew Ratley. It was wide open. Keith Ford trying to get some of that penalty yardage back to Junior, but this very well could be his final home game here at Kyle Field. There's Kirk again after the 33 yard line. First down for the Aggies. That ball gets right where it needed to be. It's a good pass by Starkle. Starkle. As wear his arm out at this rate, he's incomplete there. Already we've seen a lot more passes being thrown this game than we've seen from Texas A&M throughout the year. Back to the ground game. Ford hit and dumped. Dropped at the 30 by Acasio. The weak people, some folks back over in New Mexico, be watching this game. And play action and another strike. Damian Ratley. This is already over 100 yards passing. Starkle again, all kinds of time. Let's just flip it to the sideline as there was nothing of New Mexico. Starkle from the gun, puts it in the belly of Keith Ford. They call him Thunder around here. He gets inside the 45. Holding, number 75, offense. 10 yard penalty, replay second down. That's a se so now back him. To the 42 yard line, second down and 20. Starkle feeling some pressure, steps up, flips it downfield. This is going to be a first down for Cameron Buckley. Oh, within this offense, but keeping his eyes downfield, making plays so far. Keith Ford cuts it up. We'll get a couple. Starkle now hurt. Didn't play again until two weeks ago against Mississippi State. Was a spark last week off the bench. And now starting for the first. You get another penalty here. <laughs> I think this one may go on the defense. Offside, number 98, defense, causing a reaction from the offense. Five yard penalty, still third down. Man, especially with no backs in the backfield. Starko looking to the right, throws that direction. He has a receiver. It's Buckley again. Can't stay on his feet, but gets inside the 15-yard line. Travion Williams getting his first touch. A carry to the 10. Travion Williams. Now, same thing, being able to scan the defense and find the right play. Jamon Osmond. Wow, taking a tackler right into the end zone. Great effort at the point of the catch. And carried a tackler right in. Richard McCorley 
maybe a yard. Going, it makes everybody on defense have to honor it. And a throw here. And throw a ton. Catch made by Jay Griffin. Under center that time. The pitch to Owens looking for real estate. And he's got the first down. Air a little bit more to get the ball down the field. McCorley again on the ground this time to the 40. And that's what I'm looking at here with Texas A&M. There's nobody playing in the middle of the field. Tyrone Owens. He's for defensive coordinator. They rush five. Jordan's going to heave it deep downfield. It's underthrown and it's nearly intercepted. And a penalty marker. Dix. Pass interference, number 29, defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Well, that's what you were talking about, Kirk. Penalty against Texas AM. It puts the football at the 43 yard line for New Mexico. Daryl Chestnut stepping out of a tackle. He's got a first down and more inside the 30 to the 28. And throw it again, receiver screen. Jay Griffin. He's going to be hit for a loss at the 30 yard line. Well covered. Jordan slipped down. 13. Jordan. He is going to be chased and caught. Justin Dunning. Great wheels to catch up to Lamar Jordan and drop him for a four yard loss on the sack. Night, Nick Starkle and Kellen Mond this year. Gonna run the football with Travion Williams. Get some breathing room away from that goal. Trevor Knight, quarterback last year. Starkle started the opener. Kellen Mond went consistency at quarterback. Yeah, you said it there, inconsistencies. And that's one thing that Kevin Sumlin's been trying to find who's gonna be the quarterback that they can groom for the future here. Back to Williams. Sumlin's watch. Again, the rumors are flying fast and furious. Out to the 20-yard line, Williams. Get to know him over the years. Wish uh, Dave South the best. He's one of the best in the business. And Texas A&M is able to convert on third down. Events. Basketball, baseball over the years. On top of the football chores. Nick Starkle looking to throw. He has been great tonight doing it. Kirk downfield, penalty flag. There is no foul for roughing the passer on the defense. Personal foul, sorry, pass interference, defense. 15 yard penalty, first down. Taking care of the quarterback there. Garrett Hughes, the defensive tackle with that hit. Starkle to the air again, he's gonna go deep, and it's caught. Down at the 11 yard line is Rashad Paul, another true freshman for Texas A&M. First down, goal to go, Aggies. Uh, when they make a big play, they hurry back on the ball. They like to keep the defense on their heels. They've already got another play called. They're ready to attack as they already enter the red zone. 46-yard reception. Keith Ford, touchdown, Texas A&M. Texas A&M head coach Kevin Sumlin. So here goes New Mexico from the 39. Tyrone Owens to the outside. He'll get a handful and he'll be punished as we go to the studio. Auburn tonight. That wasn't even close. Yeah, Auburn. We saw this team against A&M last week. Good football team in the SEC West. Daryl Chestnut. Just at home at Kyle Field. Jordan in trouble. And he's going to heave it into the first row. Service to our country over the years. Great field position for Texas A&M. Their best starting field position. That's incomplete intended for Rashad Paul. <laughs> Congratulations. There you go. Travion Williams. In the game. Oh, chaos all around. Notre Dame Miami coming up here in just minutes on ABC. Good catch. First down, Javon Osmond. That's your first down. From the 45 yard line, Starkle all kinds of time. Complete to the 38. It's a gain of about seven. An open receiver. That's that's what protection does for you. Allows you to find the open guy. Receiver screen. 
Rashad Paul making a man miss. Well, he stopped on a dime, changed direction, and picked up the first down. They fake the jet sweep. Starkle able to get rid of it, under throws it, and it's dropped. By Clyde Chris. Oh, I hate it trying to tackle bring down. Second down and ten. Back out to the flat, Kendrick Rogers. And he gets past another. Lobo defender and picks up the first down. That time it was Jacob Gurk. Three catches on the year already has one today. Six different receivers for Texas A&M. They move the pocket out to the left. Stark will go into the end zone. Incomplete. We're seeing so far from Stark throwing this ball around. Second down. And it's going to be a first down. Goal to go for Rashad Paul. Different getting that ball out of the hands of Starkle. Penalty markers down. Ball is caught. A juggling catch by Damian Ratley. I think we get pass interference here offense. Offside, Offside. number 95, defense. The penalty is declined. The result of the play is a touchdown. It's going to hold up. Spent some time, like I said, in the Middle East. And we thank him for his service and his great work throughout the season. Stingy so far. Not that Jordan can't throw, and he will here, but he's just not as good at it. Third down. That was his. Jordan throws behind his receiver, Jay Griffin. He adjusts. He's not going to get the first down yardage. Fourth down at about three. The Horkes already. The last one was an 18-yard kick that he shanked. A little more heft into this one. Backing off is Christian Kirk inside the 10. But look out. Here he comes. Penalty flag. Kirk could go. And he will. But there's a marker down at the eight-yard line. If it's against New Mexico, it's his sixth career punt return touchdown. Oh, that guy's electric. You put the ball in his hands, and man, I mean, everybody here just kind of takes a little breath. You hold your breath for a little bit, and you let it out. But man, that's an unbelievable play. There is no foul for a block in the back during the attack. The result of the play is a touchdown. Lamar Jordan pump fake down the sideline. Nice catch. Brought down at the 44 yard line by. D After further review, the pass was incomplete. It will be second down at the 19 yard line. And tough break for New Mexico. They haven't had many breaks tonight. Running the option, Jordan pitches it out. Tyrone Owens, and he is going to be squashed. The line of scrimmage. Personal foul, illegal block below the waist, number 74, offense. The penalty is declined. Third down. Right as well. An easy schedule for them. Jordan trying to convert on third down with a deep shot, incomplete. Miles Jones got a piece of it tonight. It just hasn't been going well. They've got 35 yards of total offense. Meanwhile, Nick Starkle making his first start since week one, having a night, and he's complete to the 32 to Osmond. Man, this offense is having fun, Kirk. Oh, man, he's going third guy in his progression. Nick Starkle putting on a clinic right now. Ball comes out, but recovered. Wasser four on the play. Taking another shot. Starkle caught. Touchdown. Making it look too easy. Ratley with the catch. That's his second touchdown. The best, Bob Davey, staying with Lamar Jordan at quarterback. Tyrone Owens. And, and only Starkle could offer that. Yeah, Starkle has been able. Owens plus loose. And picks up a first down. Yeah, with Starko at quarterback, the one.
Boy, Ramel Jordan ran into traffic again. On second and eight. Deep pass for Jordan. And it's overthrown and it's intercepted. Miles Jones with the pick. It's half. When they give it away for the 26th time this year. Travion Williams to the 37-yard line. I, I'm going to play that guy at safety. That, that's what most defensive coordinators would do. John Chavis, no, he, he got a six-foot-four athlete who's good at cornerback. They're, they're corners, but able to turn those hips and make plays. And talk about an eye for talent. That's John Chavis. There's Christian Kirk again, making people miss. Inside the 15-yard line. Boy, cue the carnival music. And they're right, that happens, making guys miss that I'm not even seeing. There's Kirk again, near the five-yard line. Athletic, explosive, just makes plays. Travion Williams slips free for the touchdown. And both of the star running backs have been in the end zone for Texas A&M. Found Very a way. tough Iowa team. Found a way. Elijah Lilly from the goal line. He might go. I don't see any penalty flags down. This may stick. 100 yards to the house for Elijah Lilly. No bringing this one back. Here, eight sacks this season. Some terrific players that played here at Texas A&M. You notice we didn't have Johnny on there. Incomplete. No, I think with Starkle, this is, these are all reps for him. He's missed a lot of football this year. and With each play, you can see him get better and better. Coach now. Going against the Lobos, he's going to get some reps for his quarterback. Takes another strike down field, but it lands incomplete. Probably should have been caught. Finding some room up the middle. There was a little daylight momentarily for Tyrone all times. Probably having to pass more than the offense is designed to operate. Owens again. That is the end of the first half. That is impressive. Kevin Sumlin and the Aggies with a big lead at the half. To Vaca Tuioti. Hands off to Daryl Chestnut. Now we might see this change. They started off by winning first down like they did first six yards on first. Run the option to the left side and Texas A&M was able to corral him and bring him down. Good. Owens, not two yards shy of the yard, yard line to gain. Kellen Mond's going to go to the air on first down. Receiver screen. Paul. Good move. Gets across the 20 down to the 21 yard line. A gain of six. And outs. And I thought Kevin Sumlin had had enough. He was ready to move on to a quarterback that was still getting healthy in Nick Starkle. Kubota. He's getting better at it, but still, for a true freshman, wasn't where this offense needed him to be. New Mexico brought the blitz and they stifled the run in the backfield. I was all in, man. Eating that beef jerky. I was all in. We sell those products at the school store here in Texas A&M as the Lobos are in. They do a great job here. And as Tyrone Owens goes up the middle for a short game. I okay. learned how to do that. Thank you, people here at Texas A&M. Incomplete fourth down. Needless to say, <laughs> plain. I, Stop there's got to be a weight limit. <laughs> Here's Kellen Mond throwing. He's the quarterback now for Texas A&M. No contact in the secondary. 
pass is incomplete. Your time down here at College you, Station. You know, Homer Robertson <laughs> has got the greatest gig in the world. Yes. As that is caught by Osmond. I, he gets to for students to come around and and it's packed and learn how to do it old school, baby. Incomplete. Cameron Buck. Indeed, out. indeed. Pass is complete to Jay Griffin for New Mexico. He'll get to their 22 yard. Toyote running the option. Owens off the pitch. And he'll have the first down. We haven't seen enough of that from New Mexico tonight. Yeah, I think you're ready to make sure you're executing and moving the football. Toyote complete to Delane Hart Johnson. I'm going to say, hey, he's earned the opportunity to lead this team as a senior captain. Davey calls. Jordan a grinder and can he blind. I mean they come at you in waves and shifts. Yep. Sprinting out to Yodi. Good play. Athletic move to pick up the first down. Tumbles third down conversions at just over 28%. Not their strong suit. Owens. Their first down run. Owens for three more. Saw a little shot at the end there. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, number five, defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. This is number five's first foul for. Cutting it up, Ramel Jordan. They stay on the ground with Chestnut. First down. Drive. Longest drive of the night for the Lobos. And there goes Chestnut again. Right up the middle. Pickup of eight. To the outside, Jordan. Cut down at the 10. Third down. <laughs> now I get it. Owens. To the three. Get five. Chestnut touchdown. Lobos. New Mexico finally gets a road touchdown. They had gone 46 units. Especially on offense. Kellen Mon, the freshman, has been in there here in the second half. His pass is incomplete, or it is complete at the 25 yard line. Game. For Texas A&M, but there is no doubt the offense with Starkle at quarterback is more dynamic. Staying on his feet after the catch is Paul. Rashad Paul inside the 35-yard line. Big play for the rookie, give him 41 yards. Yeah, this is what you get. It's one to one, it's man-to-man -man coverage. And Kellerman just has to find the mismatch that he wants. Where's the matchup? Where's the matchup? And he finds it on the outside. And Paul just makes one guy miss, turns it into a big play. He'll keep his balance with his right hand on the turf. And it's Paul again. So they go back to him for three or four more yards. Right the fourth. Kellen Mon steps up in the pocket. A little heat from behind, got rid of it. There's Paul again, first down. Now Mond. Blitz coming, picked up. Tunnel screen there for Kendrick Rogers. Kubota. It's to the 10 yard line. That's going to be a first down for the ninth straight year, but the goals were much higher to start the season for Texas AM as Kubota gets another carry. Yeah, I mean those goals really were this time to recover. And I'm not sure this team really truly ever did. To the end zone, Mond. Touchdown. Cameron Buckley. Well, and right now, having a nice little wave against Notre Dame. New Mexico is going to run the football here with Ramel Jordan. Coming into the night. How about UCF? 
Winning again today. They're 9 0 on the year. Now, Tuioti stepping up in the pocket, a little shovel pass. And Owens has stopped well short of the first down. Offside, number 56, defense. Five yard penalty, replay third down. BSPN doing a great job. And the last couple of years leading the Lobos to the postseason. Doesn't appear that that's going to happen now in 2017. Personal Might be foul. a face mask. Face mask, number 28, defense. 15 yard penalty, first down. Outside the one drive is half. It's been tough sled. Tyrone Owens, he's been. You would, it's what a quarterback does, different team. I'll throw it here to Yodi. Down the seam, incomplete. Mm -hmm. Pressure off the edge, to Yodi got rid of it. And incomplete. Patrick Reed couldn't haul it in. Since the opening drive, when they scored on two plays on the opening series. And that's Etwe, Kwame Etwe. Tune away from the channel that night. No, I'll be watching. I'm definitely going to be watching that. Kellen Mond throwing deep down the far sideline, incomplete. Just out of the reach of Clyde Chris. Catch. Third down and three for the Aggies. And Mond is going to be sacked. Ball comes out at the end. Looks like Texas AM recovered. New Mexico at midfield. Tuioti hands off. Going nowhere. Mm. Is Owens. The ball came out. With Todd McShay seeing him being the second rated wide receiver. Possibly seeing him take his talents to the National Football League. Get the right quarterback in there for him. And Nick Starkle has definitely rejuvenated his season. Colton Gerhardt in there at quarterback now for New Mexico. A transfer from Arizona State. Hubenak is going to come in. The crowd responding is, they like it when the reserves get in. Kendall Bussey with that last carry. There's Hubenak. Played in the first two games for Texas A&M, but he hasn't played since week two against Nichols. He's been dealing with a bit of a sore shoulder, but look at Christian Kirk clapping that Hubenak and some of the other backups are getting into the football game. Yeah, and Hubenak, the senior, you know, his last time here at Kyle Field in front of the home fans. Guys get a little... It'll, it'll be interesting to see how it does on the road at Ole Miss and at LSU the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I don't want to put a percentage on you know the health of the ball Ben Simmons the new era of the NBA and a tough night for the New Mexico offense Gerhardt he bowl eligible this year they were gonna have to win out coming into the night to make that happen they ran into a freight train as Moran gets the handoff. Shirt, freshman quarterback. Just from the get-go, he, he was aggressive, made plays throughout the entire first half. Took the second half off. The Justin Bieber t-shirt you oh, talked about. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I conveniently forgot about that. The Justin Bieber t-shirt by Mr. Starkle. Yeah, he was wearing a Justin <laughs> Bieber t-shirt. Kendrick Rogers, I think he's got the first down. It's going to be fourth down. And the quarterback, Gerhardt, holds on. Team, the final Texas A&M is bowl eligible. New Mexico will not be going to the postseason. For Court Morrison and our crew, I'm Clay Matvick. We now send you to goal line, followed by Wyoming at Air Force.